Okay, good. We have a Nikon charger here. MH18, I think it is. And uh, we connect it to the power outlet, insert our battery, and we see the light is not blinking and it's not charging. And that's a pain in the butt because this charger is not cheap. You can buy on eBay something that is similar to this, but I want to repair this one. It's only like 10 years old and uh, no way that it is already broken. I had like a thunderstorm and then what happens here? So this fuse here is blown, like 250 volts is slow. The T is for slow blowing 2 amp fuse and I ordered a few on eBay. They are less than a dollar a piece. And so I'm going to clean those solder points here, those two, to make a hole. I have this suction thing here. Okay. So they're both open, both holes now. That means I can put the new fuse in. Let me grab one here. I ordered five of them. It was the smallest amount I could find for a good price. And... We're going to insert those through the two holes we have here. After we cut the old one out, right? Let me see here. So, and then also important to put this thing right in the middle, right? That the heat transfer from the solder joint to the fuse is not too much. Okay, so there it is. There, you can see the answer through there. The show there, there is it is right in the middle, and now we need to solder this. I need some solder. You can use some flux paste if you have. Uh, I have solder with flux in it. Let's see here, where is it? There, and then heat this up good. Let's take a little shake in here. There is one, and then here is the other. Very nice. Let me get warm, a lot of solder in there. Could flow a little better, I should have used the flux, but it's too late now. This thing is beautiful, I can tell you. Now we need to cut the ends off. Do I have a cutter handy? I do, I think. Let's see, where is it? Here it is, okay, let's see. Let's cut this off nice and good here. Yeah. This end. Oh, this could be a little better. It's sticking out. Oh. Come on. There you go. Ah, oh, that looks fine. Okay, so now we have to put this back together in here on this side and then make sure that all those three contacts sticking through the holes on that side here. One, two, and three. They have to stick through the holes, and now we need to put the cover on the back here. Let's tickle this in a little, a little pushing here. There we go. And then those two torques. I'll use those so that no, not everybody can go in there. Let's see here. Is that working easy? This one here. Not too tight, not that the plastic cracks. Let's see here, that's good. This one needs a little more pull, it's odd, but okay. I'll tighten this up good. And now we're going to try this again. Uh, attach to power. And then plug the battery in, and we see it's blinking. Look at that. Wonderful, so this thing is fixed.